Hello everyone, it is me, Jerry Gaming here, and welcome to Left 4 Dead 2. I decided to do something a lot more different today, and not just for the fact that I'm finally posting a Left 4 Dead 2 video, but I decided to try out something that I thought was very interesting. A couple days ago, I decided to browse to the workshop, and at some point, I passed by this advanced AI that I was very curious about, and it was only through a couple passing comments that I saw something about them actually doing things that's game-breaking. So obviously I decided what was that about. Little did I know, I decided to do a little bit of research into what these bots are capable of, and without even noticing, and only reading the description, I saw that there is an ability to turn on full power mode, so obviously I was very curious. What did that do? Oh, I don't know, Mario 64 long jumping, giving me items not supposed to give me, shooting through walls, killing every single common effect I've ever seen in my entire life, pretty much carrying me all the way to the very end. I decided to see how OP this would be, so what was the best way to test this out? Probably one of the most difficult campaigns in the entire game, Dark Carnival, infamous for being one of the most punishing and long levels in the entire game. So obviously I decided this has gotta go easy, right? I mean just from saying from experience on playing this on expert mode by myself, this had to be easy, right? Right? Okay, there we go. The nep has been modded in. Very humorous, am I right? Just in case I needed to re-enable, let's do it again. Alright. Now. Bots are on full power mode. Let's see how this works out. Yeah, sure thing. Also, I got a new mouse today. It was, it's, it's a pretty interesting mouse. I was told that it might actually be bad because it's an off-brand mouse. But, admittedly, I kind of like the feel of it so far. It's not too bad. We gotta get something to happen just so I could see how they just react to the uh, absurdity or just the amount of things that happen. Like, I gotta see, because I've seen them do some ridiculous stuff. I've seen Noir kill a charger. When the charger charged at her, like, you know, like, incapping her or whatnot, like, a charger, like, killed her, or not killed her, but, like, got her, and then she uses an axe to destroy the charger, despite getting touched by the charger, which is, you know, an inactionable state. So, obviously, I, I, I just gotta see everything they do, because the amount of things that they do is insane, and one of them already picked up a guitar. They're not taking the shortcut that I took, so that's pretty interesting. I thought that was a universal thing that everyone knew about. Well, not universal, because I didn't know about it until I played online. But, you know, still. Yes. Rashal got that ca How? She has a SMG! Yes. Who was the one laughing? I really hate climbing down ladders. Cause I keep forgetting what's the way up. Did they just fall down without taking any damage or something? The one thing I can at least take appreciation is that since cause they prefer melee weapons, I can at least take the magnum. At the very least. Also, the fact that they can pick up the propane tanks and gas canisters, like, can we just talk about that? Okay. This... This is something I have to see. What do they do in this situation right here? Okay. Oh, there they go. They're warping around the place like they always do. Haha, <laughs> silly, silly bots warping around like crazy maniacs. What do I do in this situation? Oh, we got him. Oh, I'm helping Vert and Noir's helping. Wait, is Noir moving? While they. <laughs> Am I crazy or was Noir moving while she was helping one of them up? What? How? Huh? 
I've never seen that happen before. Is this part of full power mode? <laughs> what in the world? One thing I am a little uncomfortable with is the, the shape of the mouse. It's admittedly really weird. But, um... If I can aim... You took the jockey? What, what did you even do? Oh. Hey, yo, can you do me a favor? And just because you can, can you pick up that gas canister right there? Yeah, thanks, Vert. Thanks. What? Like, where are they shooting? Like, I think that's what makes me the most afraid is that where they're shooting is likely hitting a target. One way or another. And I, I am not sure how to feel about that. I am trying to- Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Well, I think I have a Molotov. Fire away! Wait! She's dead? How? She- Did- Were they just shooting her the whole time? Oh my god. I am afraid of these. I am afraid of these AIs. And it's weird because they're my mates. But they're doing some hicky picky stuff. You want to get inside? Can you get in? Okay. Thank you. Oh my goodness. 156 compared to me with my 38. How did they do that? For those of you who are a little bit new to Left 4 Dead 2, it's almost normal to have just more damage, more everything. That, how? How did? How did they do that? How? For those who are new to Left 4 Dead 2, it is almost natural to have much more <gasps> numbers than them. Like it's a, it's very normal. Like what is it? Um. Let's just say that there were 1,000 zombies in a singular campaign. 60% of them probably would belong to you. And the other 40% is all three of them put together. Naturally, they're not good at killing anything. But with this AI script, you can tell that's the exact opposite. Seeing as, you know, again, one of them's carrying a propane tank and the other one's carrying a gas canister. How? Like, this is becoming a breeze. And that's concerning. I have not taken a single hit out of everything that happened. And that, that's talking about the fact that there was a tank. I mean, to be frank, I have no idea that has anything to do with the fact that maybe the script also makes me invincible for whatever reason. Which, I actually kind of hope not. Because that will take away the challenge altogether. But, gosh dang. They are actually unbeatable. Like, holy moly. Oh no. Wow, the one time that he actually needed help. My new pipe bomb. Come here. Look at it in all its glory. So cute. So adorable. Scar. It's the scar. Look at it. You know what? Maybe it's because they're taking, they're like clearing out all of the uh, hordes more quickly than I am. So that's probably why that I haven't taken any damage. They're just so. How? Did they do that? What is this witchcraft? Also, I think, I don't know what it is. There's something scary about seeing an AI pick up a firearm, or not a firearm, a melee weapon, and seeing that, I, I, you have, what is it? You guys haven't seen it, but there was one time I was playing with Neptune, and she used a fire axe, and that fire axe had the range of like 10 people in front of her. And no matter what, she was hitting everything. It was actually insane. Jeez Louise, they are OP. Oh, my auto shoddy. And my AK. But I'm using my auto shoddy. Because I love my auto shoddy. It's my favorite weapon. Lol XD. Anyways, you guys want to pick up one of these? Neptune? Huh? That's the gnome! Whoa, 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 wait, wait, wait. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. I know where the gnome is. Or AK, the little cute and adorable net plush. 
How? 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 How did how did you do that? How how did you do that? How did you do how did you do that? That the the the, the, the cute little net plush is not meant to be grabbed unless you completed the mini How did you how did you do that? How did you do that? What in the absolute moly? How? How are you doing this? Is this the powerful power mode? Oh, I hear a charger. Or oh, unless they can do me a favor and uh, do something wild and... Hey, it's okay guys. I know it's, it's smoky in here, but... I hear the charger. Where is it? Oh, there it is. There you go. Wait, they can pick up bombs. It's just realized, right? Yeah, wait. I'll just, uh... Yeah, get that bomb. Or that bomb could have bounced off of something and... Oh, no! No! There goes my free damage! There goes all the damage I avoided! Oh, man! That's unfortunate! There goes all the damage I did a good job avoiding. Um... Oh, yeah, I forgot they could give me health kits, too. They can literally give me anything they want. They're, like, actually pulling off some sort of thing I would go as far as to say that it's as the title of the video suggests cheating <laughs> literally cheating and I got of it it's kind of funny all psychers are hiding oh Hold on. Part of me even wonders if I have to even bother crowning the witch. I kind of want to do it just because, you know, for the sake of actually scoring a kill on her, but there's no risk in not even trying because they, from what I've seen, they can just kill her right off the gate, right? I'm going to try it anyway. Oh, I did it. Oh. I mean, I kind of crowned it. I didn't really 100% crown it, but I killed it without getting killed, so, you know, that works. Oh, what? How? Oh. Are you gonna place it down? How did you place it? You didn't even do the animation! How did you do that? How? How? How, how did you do that? Oh, shoot. I took damage. I took damage again. There's a boomer. Oh no! Every time! Why is it always they wait until I see them and then they just are just like right there? I kid you not, this one time a charger popped up right behind me, like right behind me. And it only attacked until I actually saw it. When it was right behind me. Spawned right behind Like not- when I say right behind me, I'm talking about like in an enclosed space. Like it wasn't like one part of the parish. In that one room, like right before the safe room, like right before the fourth level. It was there. And it killed me. Or not killed me, but it attacked me only when I looked at it. Forgive me for trying this, but I have to really put them to the test. I just gotta see this. Actually, after they're done spawning. Alright, y'all got some explaining to do. How did you do that? The witch died and ran for not even a second. Uh, from a safe distance too, which usually means that you're not gonna kill the witch from that distance. But instead, they killed the witch from that distance. Which is insane to me. How are they pulling this off? Oh, thanks. I mean, I don't know if I'm gonna need it with you guys, but you know, we're just gonna go with it anyway. I am running. Oh my gosh. Just in case I should friendly remind you guys, she is holding the gnome. 
AKA the, the cute and adorable net plush. Also, am I crazy or is she walking really fast? <gasps> the nep has turned gold. You wanna heal up? <laughs> what did you say, Noir? Oh yeah, I, I'm pretty sure I've already said this in the intro, but the reason why I um have them modded is just to avoid swearing. Because there's actually a lot of swearing in this game, but um, I, I just don't want to put up with trying to edit all that out without you being able to hear it, and maybe one of them will slip up. I mean, if for whatever reason they actually are swearing in Japanese, at least we wouldn't know. Or, at least I. Whoever is my uh, Japanese audience would know, but at least I wouldn't. <laughs> Assuming that every single one of my audiences is, um, what is it, uh, American? English, one way or another, doesn't know Japanese. You know what I love about this the most? It's not the fact that they're cheating and doing this. It's the fact that I can record all this for content. That's what makes this amazing. I can just show everyone and everything how unbelievably busted this is. Wait, I just realized. Hold on. I forgot to do the signature kelp. Signature, uh, what we like to call the, uh, Among Us. All right, route. Oh, she is right there. Man, I literally swear this is so easy because of them. Like, I've been realizing there's a lot of zombies that were coming through, and they were just able to shoot all of them down so efficiently somehow. Anyways, I gotta kill her. Oh, nice, one shotted. Let's go. Oh, thank you, Neptune. I didn't take full damage, did I? I like Blonde's little cough. It makes it seem like as if she's like sneezing. It's just so adorable. Alright, this is one of the scariest parts in the uh, whole campaign. I say one of the because the scariest part is the one in the Barnes level. Which is the next level. But here... Uh... We're basically just gonna use the adrenaline to run next to the coaster, and uh, yeah. A strategy thanks to, uh, I don't know what his name is, but he's the one dude that like did a bunch of those Left 4 Dead 2 single player x Row videos. It's really cool, you should watch them. Anyways, this should be a breeze since, you know, they're cheating. The only thing that's gonna suck is that they're gonna be behind, but it'll be alright. Right? Come back, Coaster, come back! Look at those zombies climbing up. They can't do anything. They're getting destroyed! Ouch. Wait. Oh no! Of course! Every single time! It's always because they are right there! Are you absolutely kidding me? Alright, let's see what they're doing. As freaking. Gosh, you see. Ha! Wait a second! Wait a second! Did I just see that card? Did she just teleport onto the. Oh my. Seriously though, why did, why did they have it? I saw the jockey. I was gonna shoot that, and then uh, the hunter showed up, and that ruined my whole day. As I'm dead, as you can see. Gosh, I hate this level. I seriously hate this campaign so much. This campaign on extra mode is annoying. Wait, do they actually know how to get to the safe room? They don't know how to get to the safe room, do they? Do they? Do they? Do, do they? Do, do they? Alright, I gave up on winning, so we're just gonna head to this right away. Uh, we're just basically starting over to this level, and, uh, yeah. Now, even though we're stuck with the bare essentials, I feel like this should be a breeze since, you know, they're cheating, right? Oh! Oh, shoot, the tank's here. Oh, 
Oh, really? You threw it at me? I literally swear. Well, oh, thanks. I guess. I don't know why you gave it to me, but thanks. I don't even think it's me that needs it. Well, I mean, not in a bad way. I'm just trying to. I don't. Don't. I don't shoot me, please. I'm, I'm just trying to say you guys are so good that I feel like that. I. I should not even have this uh, amazing gift from you guys. I just gotta find another adrenaline, but I don't know how I'm gonna be able to find that. I need ammo, hold on. Oh, there's ammo. Alright, then next I'm gonna need a pipe bomb or a boomer bile, but most likely it's gonna be a pipe bomb. But I just want one of the two. Not for this level, but the next level. For this, I actually needed adrenaline. Again. Or, maybe not, since, because I left them behind, um, they were not able to catch up, and then I was able to get jumped by a hunter for that. I literally swear, there's something about hunters on this level, they're always the one that kill me. Well, I'm not seeing an adrenaline, so, it's pretty bad. But there are laser sights! Oh, and there's an adrenaline! And I also got a pipe bomb! Never mind, I think we might be fine! Hold up. What about from here? She's dead?! What did you guys do? How? You guys are pulling off some. Well, cheating AI for a reason, I guess. Oh, I killed the smoke with nice. There we go. What? No! Oh my fudge nuggets, that was so close. I fell! No! No! Are you freaking serious? We're not losing because, you know, we're getting overwhelmed. We're losing because of me. Dude, I freaking hate this level so much. There we go. Okay. That way I don't have to manually restart it every time. Because... Where? Oh, no. There we go. That's the power of everyone shooting the thing. I had a feeling. Alright, you guys use the explosive rounds. I'm not going to because I'm using a shotgun. I'm pretty sure this is going to hurt you guys. Oh, so I'm not taking damage. It's one of those fake fall damage things. They pretend like you're taking damage, but in actuality, you're not. I hate smokers. Have I told you guys that? If there's one special infected, I actually genuinely hate the most, it's the smokers. They are the most annoying special infected in the whole game. Everyone has Molotovs, just realized. Alright, well, we don't have an adrenaline, but we'll make this work somehow. Bro! Already, I'm not so confident in this strategy. I need my auto shot. I am... I know that this has better spread, but like... It takes that better spread. It's actually a little bit harder to actually aim for them. Yes. 
No! Oh my gosh. Oh, they already killed the spitter. Genuinely serious, guys. If you're playing this level by yourself, the genuine, the general plan is to uh get the adrenaline, go to the coaster, and just try to get to the safe room as quick as possible. Since once again, the bots more times than not are usually bad. So more times than not, they're never gonna actually be able to get to the end without getting damaged or incapped or whatnot. So the best thing to do is just to ditch them and just head for the end yourself. BT dubs, I, in case I have to say this, um, I'm not gonna try to name every single specific thing. The UI, the characters themselves, the models, um, of, like, things like pipe bombs, molotovs, boomer bows, um, pills, adrenalines, are not mine. The reason why I say this, including the health kit, the health kit's not mine either. The reason why I say this is because the music that's playing right now or most the door texture right there, the weapon textures, and most of the sound effects in the game are modded by me. Obviously, sound effects don't belong to me, but um, I wanted to just point that out because there are some things that I did mod myself, and there are other things that I feel like it should be pretty clear that I obviously did not mod myself, like their voices. I am not taking a year of my life just to mod every single character's voice. Props to whoever did this, because my goodness. Wait, I just realized. If I had to restart- That means we're not holding the gnome anymore. <gasps> we're not holding the little Nepu plushie anymore. Because I had to manually restart it. Ah, bollocks. That sucks. That means we don't have the cool and amazing thing that we should have. The gnome. Oh yeah, BT dubs. Uh, the sky texture as well doesn't belong to me. Alright, here's usually the plan, right? When we go to that section, our usual plan is to uh, get a boomer bile, chuck it across somewhere, so that way the zombies would actually move out of the way. When, um... Are you serious? No sound effect, no nothing. But yeah, but since because we have a pipe bomb, that means we have to be a little bit quicker with, uh... getting around that area. I guess it also doesn't help that... Um... I don't see an adrenaline, so this part would be a little bit more tougher. Also, something random I just realized. Am I allowed to hurt them? Because, like, I, there are moments where I feel like I should have- they should have took some damage from me shooting them, and they end up not taking any damage. So, now I'm curious. Is it possible that somehow they have the ability to, uh, not take damage from me? That's a kit. Hey, what the? Bro, the one time I don't want you to catch that. I hit it. They are doing the work for me. They are truly are something else. I just took a sip from my water. comes the zombies. Except the problem is that that distracted none of them. Oh, what? 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 Wait a second. Hold on. I am actually positive I just shot one of them and they took no damage. Okay. I 
I, I gotta test this. Okay, I'm gonna try to aim for the area that seems to get hurt the least, which is around their stomach. Okay, so you, 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 you can't damage them. You actually cannot hurt them. That's, that's insane. I think, I guess the part where I mentioned about the mods that would make a little bit more sense is if I just put a link in the description of where my mods are, so I'll do that. Um, if you guys look in the link in the description and you have this game yourself, you should be able to see everything that I modded myself, or almost everything. There's some things that, oh no. Everyone threw a Molotov down. Ooh, we all have the same brain. Actually, I'm gonna need that. What? There was only one boomer bow. Ha! Wait a minute. Now that I think about it, I really hope I don't have to go on a whole tangent about everything I mod and didn't mod because that would just take too long. So, put it simply, um, to make it easier, the weapon textures are the ones I modded and the sound effects the weapons make are the ones I modded as well. The music, except for the concert, and, um, what else? Alarm sound effects. There are no zombies in this area. Where are they? Maybe it's because, I don't know, they're destroying them. Like that. Oh, I want the hunter. Never mind. You took the hunter from me. I really wanted to kill the hunter just because, you know, hate that guy. He's been literally robbing all my campaign successes. Where's the tank? Oh. Almost hit me. Oh my goodness. The problem with the finale here that used to have been for me was that the bots just sucked. But now that they're cheating, this is actually kind of This is really easy. Get in the fire. Go in the fire. In the fire you go, guys. In the fire. Ah, uh, good boys and girls. Going into the fire like I asked them to. I'm gonna borrow one of you guys' fireworks. Did Neptune just long jump into the tank? Hold on. Oh no. What the, how are they healing me like that? My goodness. They, they truly are something else. Where's the helicopter? Oh, what's going on that side? Oh boy. Oh my goodness. I literally swear the only reason why that third level, the coaster was even difficult was just because of me not knowing how to deal with special infected on my own in pressure like that. And the hunter, once again, robbing my success. Ideally, that was like two restarts over there, so these stats are a bit of a lie. I just want to know at the end result, how many zombies do they kill all together compared to me? Oh my gosh, I got the least amount of kills. And they got the most. More specifically, Neptune.